Yes, we're gonna pick it up right here. Keep it going now. All things work together for the good those that love the Lord and are called according to His grace. Oh! What a Jehovah God coming into Adam's life, molding and shaping him out of all of the darkness that he had seen, brought him into a new vernacular, a new way of thinking, a new way of walking, an understanding, opening his eyes to the entire earth and the fullness thereof. And here he is walking in the law of the land. Jehovah God is there. The woman has not shown up yet. And we've covered uh, about five of the things that Jehovah God is doing with Adam as he's walking through the garden, showing him what going on around him. He even allowed him to name every single animal. Adam is all yours. Name them all. Call them whatever you want to call them. And that's what they will be. Can you do that? Can you call your own shots? Can, can, you, can you see yourself calling it as you, you know, it says faith cometh by hearing and hearing cometh by the word of God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Call it, call that opportunity into existence, call that education into existence, call that uh, CD, that record in deal into existence, call that business, call that uh, uh, automobile you may need in your life. Uh, as transportation, wherever you may be getting to know, go or to a job or whatever, call that job into your life. Call it as you, for we, faith coming by hearing and hearing coming by the word of God. We walk not by sight, but by faith. Oh, we walk by faith, uh, not by what we see so much of. Uh, but Adam looks at an animal and calls it a lion. He looks at another animal and calls it a tiger. He looks at a giant elephant, a man, uh, uh, animal and calls it an elephant. He sees a bird flying in the air and he calls it a blue jay, a mockingbird, or whatever you may want to call it, a red bird, uh, a, a black bird, whatever. He's calling the shots. Adam, given dominion over the earth and the fullness thereof. Adam, the man who walks with Jehovah God in the garden, in the cool of the morning, in the late of the afternoon. He's walking through the garden with just Jehovah God. He's the crown prince of God's creation. He's the all there is to be what is. He never took one animal and walked him through the garden and explained all that and talked with him in that way. <laughs> he doesn't do it today. He does with, with mankind. We come, go, and fall back into the dust, and Jehovah God raises up another and talk with him. He comes, goes, falls back into the dust. David comes, uh, raises up, slays Goliath, takes the children of Israel through to the land of promise, to, through uh, establishing Israel in, in the land of promise. And before he knew it, 70 years, 70, 80, 70, 60, 80, well, however many years David lived to be, is done. And he's fallen back into the dust. And Jehovah God calls up another prophet and walks on down the road with him. Elijah, Elijah, Elisha, walks on down the road with him. Moses, Falls back into the dust. He's prepared his life to be with him for eternity. He falls back into the dust and Joshua takes over. Takes the children into the land of promise. And here we see Adam. But Adam uniquely enough has access now as Jehovah God is about to tell him to the tree of life. He also has access to the tree of knowledge of good and evil. 
but but he's not to eat of that tree according to the commandment he's issued here. Adam is still there, a, one man, a man. One man has not been created yet, and all of this is happening. Have anybody, have you ever thought about all of what happened before uh, a woman came into Adam's life or your life? You know, when you were a kid, you, 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 you did all your stuff. Now, you may not have had a sister. If you did, uh, you know, she was there. Or a parent. Your mother was there, and my, my mother was there for me, too, as well. I came from her womb. But Adam did not have a mother. He only had God. To all of his homage and all of his his created being, all of his existence was only taken from the vision of Jehovah God himself, which is how every single one of us should see ourselves. Yes, you have a mother who's, who's he declared would be fruitful and multiply, and you have a father. Every man on this planet, every human being on this planet that's here now, there's been only two that's been born, born without a father. That was Adam, but he had a heavenly father, and that was Jehovah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. God, Emmanuel, walking with us. Two, the first man, Adam, the second man, Jesus Christ. Oh, catch that. You're walking, you're walking with him. And he's in the garden. And he's being displayed, he's displaying all of And God gives him the law of the land. And he also says to Adam, and he tells him, if you tell him, if you, if you eat of this tree here, Adam, you will surely die. You'll die spiritually. He said, if you eat of the tree, well, let's go ahead on down the road a little piece. And the Lord God said, it is not good. Now, he's given him this edict, he's given him this law, he's given him this commandment, and he says to Adam, he sees Adam as being alone, depressed, and wondering after naming everything else in the garden. Let's, let's go ahead with this word. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help. I know you ladies have been waiting on this part. You had to wait the second week to come around for for you to become a part of this. And I know we're instant everything now. You know, we gotta have it now, we gotta have it now, we gotta have it now. It's lickety split, it's digital. Shoot me a text, I got it now. You shoot it back, you got it now. You know, the text happens now, now, now. Email now, right now. We are now world. But you have to wait on certain things. We have to wait on certain things. And in this case, Jehovah God it has created this creation through a re-energized uh, prophetic vision of the past with Moses to show him and he could relate this new testimony from Jehovah God of the, of the creation as to who and how and what and when and what all took place in this creation opportunity we're seeing here. This creation testimony we're seeing here. And, and, and as we have pointed out, about six things have taken place. Five to six uh, critical subject matters in the life of Adam that, that Jehovah God has reiterated to Moses in his revelation of the new, of the uh, um, creation, second creation of man. It's not really a second creation, but it's a, it's a visionary redepiction of what happened in the first creation or what actually took place. What Jehovah God, how he manifested all of this 
goings on. You know what, what's, what's going to happen when, when we get this down in our real, real self? You, you know what's going to happen? <laughs> I, divorces are going to go out. The, a lot of them are going to go out the window. A lot of confusion about what goes on in the home and in the house is going out the window. A lot of misunderstanding because he said, get knowledge, get wisdom, but with all thy getting, get an understanding. A lot of it's going out the window. And, and it hasn't, it's, 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 it's been told, but it, you, you've got to get into uh, with Jehovah. You've got to put your, take your feet out of your shoes and put your feet in his shoes and walk with him as Adam is walking with him in his own creation presentation here. You know, you see presentations all the time presented by this person or that person or this company or that company. Uh, they want you to know how their business is running. They want you to know how their, their organization is, is, is kept and, and have an understanding of what it's doing and, and all that, that stuff. You know, the, the commercials tell you certain things about their company and how good they, they do things. Jehovah God is doing the same thing here. He's showing Adam how grand and glorious he's created him by himself. And Adam knows that he has a right to, he has a, 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 a appointment with the tree of life. That tree of life keeps him alive. Now he's not forbidden from that tree. From that fruit of that tree. Because it will keep him alive. It is his, his lifeline. It is his, God's spirit is, is there. And he's rejuvenated. He's reintegrated in this physical mortal body he lives in. He's rejuvenated to live forever. Mm. That's another big bone to swallow. That's another big uh, uh, um, truth to get your ears wrapped around. But those who worship him, they must worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus Christ said, for God is a spirit. And by those who worship him, they must worship him in spirit and in truth. There is no other way to worship Jehovah God. Not truthfully, not honestly, not coming into his presence. I can be thinking about all kinds of mess. We're going to dinner today, waiting for the football game, going to, to, to uh, spend time with the grandchildren, all of all kinds of stuff can, and they're worthy thoughts. But Jehovah God is a jealous God. And when we are in his commune, we should be thinking with him. Even when we're going to and fro this earth to visit your grandchildren or to, to uh, 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 meet your wife at the airport or your, your son at the airport or, or go visit them on the campus at whatever school they may be attending or, or, or at school to take care, to go to, to school to see about uh, disturbance that may be happening with your son or daughter, whatever. You, you should take Jehovah God with you in a prayerful manner. His spirit should dwell with you. 24-7. He said, I'm omnipresent. Where are you? I ask yourself, he's omnipresent. So if he's omnipresent, what should I be doing around here, walking around talking about, uh, Jehovah God, I really do need you to be with me. No, you, he's already there. You don't just need him to be with you. He done told you, I'm omnipresent. You ain't got that. You know, just, just make sure you're on, in track, on touch, in touch with me, with him. Yeah. He's already right there where you are. When you go into that, that office with the, <laughs> with the teacher, with the principal, and sit down, he's there, right there. You're flying in that airplane and you got to get somewhere. You know, he's there. He's right there. You don't think he was in that building with those folks in 9-11? He was there. Right there. A whole bunch of them. I tell you. They may not have got out of there, but Jehovah God was there. They called on him. He was right there. That's when man recognizes that he's here. He's always there. Man's got to open his eyes up and see <laughs> that he's always there. He, what, what is the artist going to do? He paints us a daily picture. A daily picture of our life walking through with him. That's how 
intimately Jehovah God is into our lives. Every day you do something different. Every single day of your life on this planet, you're not going to walk one day the same as you walked the day before. You don't even go to work. You say, oh, I drive to work the same way I drive to work. No, you don't. You can put those same tracks on the road and see, and I can tell you, 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 you look at them and you'll see they went a different way. They didn't go the exact same track that you rolled into yesterday. You say, well, if I go enough, I, I don't know. That, that's, that's irrelevant. What you did, you sneezed one way one day on the, on the way to work, the next day you didn't. One day you looked out the window and saw a building that you never saw before, and you went, oh my goodness, where'd that come from? Yeah, somebody built it. <gasps> I didn't know they was doing that. Wow. Are they working on the highway today? Oh my goodness, I should have went the other way. He's always, he's painting our picture. That's what we said, he's always Waking us up to a brand new day. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up to this day that I can walk with you, talk with you, serve with you, be a part of this world with you, be in your world together with you, Jehovah God. No matter where I'm going, keep my mind, this mind which is in me, in Christ Jesus, be also in me, myself. Us, me, walking into this world, uh, this mind, Christ, walking into this world, setting the example, setting the the, the road that we should travel as we, as human beings, as we, as people walking with this vernacular, this Jehovah God, this God as, as Adam is walking with him in the garden, walking with the Jehovah God, looking for you. Where you at, Jehovah God? I'm looking for you. I can't. Uh, there was a time when Adam had to ask that question. We haven't got there yet. Let's let's get right here. In he said, "And thou shalt surely die." And the Lord God said, "It is not. Don't eat of that tree. Uh, thou shalt surely." Die. He's talking to all of mankind now. So don't put your brother, sister, uncle, aunt, cousin in this. You are in it because everybody was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. That's the way it's, <laughs> it's told. Yeah, everybody. So you're going to die because Adam ate the, tr- ate the fruit. We all uh, might as well. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. That's it. He said in the next, next verse, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. What a word. Oh, don't leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't leave me alone. I don't like to be alone at night. I can't hardly sleep when I'm alone. This help meet he's got. The M-E-E-T meet. It's coming. She's coming down the road somewhere. She's, she's being thought of. She's being thought about. She, she's being identified. And she's coming up from the, 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 the rest of the garden has already been finished. The garden has been painted. The picture has been given. Adam and Jehovah God has walked through every crook and crannies of this Jehovah God creation, and they are in total accords with each other. He understands Jehovah God. Jehovah God knows he understands. He's given him the law. He's told him how to live here, how he, where he came from, how he came out of the dust of the earth, and how he got down and blew the breath of life into his dead ball of clay and pulled him up out of that clay with eyes popped wide open to see the world that Jehovah God has created for him. And then he told him about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and he's all wrapped up in, oh, yeah, you talking about that beautiful tree? I'm talking about that beautiful tree over there. That gorgeous tree over there. That tree that is so profound. That tree that stands out over all the trees in the garden. This is the grand and glorious tree. Adam, don't touch it. Don't eat it. He didn't say don't touch it. He said do not eat. But guess what? We'll talk about that in a little bit. Here we are. He's, he's, he's in the garden. He's gotten told that he's Adam, it's not good for you to be alone. And, 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 and he's alone. You've seen the statue of the thinker. How, how many of you have seen that statue? 
But just just sing. Hey, praise the Lord. Whatever. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to jump up and down or anything. The thinker that sits there with his fist folded, balled up in his hand, fist underneath his chin. He, I don't know if you recall Doby Gillis. The young people don't even know, know Doby Gillis, but he's, he was, he was a, a, a fun, frolic and fun college student. But the statue was on the campus and it was like the thinker. If you want to picture Adam being in that posture, picture him there because there's no female around this, this statue. And Adam is thinking, man, now watch what Jehovah God says to Adam, says as he's talking about Adam being alone, I will make him and help meet for him. I will make him a help meet for him. Wow. What a what a blessing. I will make him. Where is he going to get this help meet from? Uh, good question. Anybody ask that question? Because he's created every every other animal, and they all came from the dust of the earth. The male, the female came from the dust of the earth. The 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 lion, the tiger came from the dust of the earth. The lion, the elephant, and the she elephant, her his counterpart, came from the dust of the earth. The propagation of their ability came, you know, from their creation. And Jehovah God breathed the breath of life in all of them. And here he is talking about his help me, because Adam is alone. Adam was created to be alone. He, he obviously was. He was created to be alone. And, and not without a female in his life. Then, then, then what? Because his relationship was with Jehovah God. It was not to be with with this woman, he created a female and a male for, for God didn't make a mistake. He created a male and female for the, for, for all the animals. But let's look at what he says here. And he says, and out of the ground, he's going to explain to us what had already happened, but he's going to tell it again so we can see what was going on. And out of the ground, the, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name of thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle and the fowls of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help. Meet. M-E-E-T. I'm going to say that a thousand times if I must, because I know where we're at in thinking. Uh, there was not a help meet found for him. And, and that's where we're going to hold you before we, you know, uh, as, as the saying goes, and, and uh, we could call the name, but, but you, you've heard the song. You, you've heard the song. Uh, this is a man's world. This is a man's world. Oh, but it wouldn't be nothing. It wouldn't be nothing without a woman or a girl. Oh. So Jehovah God is about to bring man's sidekick, his bosom buddy, his angel from heaven, his starry-eyed queen, his crown plint, prince, princess of glorious hair. Her eyes sparkle like the sun beaming and the stars cast her to the heavens themselves. Her curves are divine and brought out of uh, a, a, a magazine of models. You won't find another female on this planet that even holds a candle to this dynamic creation of Jehovah God, nor will you find a man as perfect, the two perfect, oh, but we'll tell you that, that parable, we'll tell you that testimony um, 
as we as we uh, get into it deeper. Uh, oh, join us on uh, the next week. Uh, this this song we uh, played for you. Uh, my heart belongs to you, and I'm looking for you. Uh, my heart belongs. Adam walking with the God, Jehovah, Lord God, Jehovah, and my, I'm looking for for you, Jehovah God. I'm uh, I'm in trouble. I'm finding where am I at? Oh, praise the Lord! And this beautiful woman uh, is somewhere out there for you. Or this beautiful man, this gorgeous man, he may not be handsome may not be even good looking. She may not be beautiful. She may not even be good looking. But they're looking for you. They're looking for you. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. Let us love him. Let us keep and hold on to what he's given us in this earth, in this realm. Oh, we thank you, Father, for every single breath we get to take in this earth so that we may make our create, uh, that you've created us with a desire, fervent desire to come to your throne of grace, Father, to come and be with you in, in eternity, that we may know how you pierced the side of Christ as, as you will put your hand into Adam's into the wound, open the wound of Adam and, and bring out that rib, that rib that will come from his side. And, and Christ was at the cross when the soldier, oh, oh, uh, feel the scriptures with he will pierce his side. Oh, what a devastating time. And the blood gushed out with blood and water. Man, Fulfilling the prophecy of Jehovah God and didn't even know it. Jeremiah spoke those very words some hundreds of years before it ever happened. Let's hear what the word of the song has to say. He looked at him and, and saw a simple man, a carpenter with healing in his hands. They saw him come the sea and hear a dying man. They saw, but could they really? Understand could not, could not They could not Though they tried They could not He was just Several carpenter, but yet with healing in his hands. Oh, but Jesus, could, they really could we really understand? understand? Oh, but we could not. We could not. Give us the grace, Father. Give us the faith and the mercy. They listened, they listened to the teachings the that they heard. They about the mystery of his word they wondered as he's about to bring this is beautiful gorgeous this wondrous magnificent it's glorious and wonders this divinely created creature into Adam's life so she may sing to you they could not, oh they could not, did he join her in that rendition she brought, they could not, they listened to the teachings about a father's plan, but could they 
really, really understand. understand. And she's carrying the melody to his song in her heart. She's breathing his words, holding on to every thought. She's loving the fact that he has all she could possibly ever want. In her life, somewhere, somehow, he's got it all for her. Who would not suffer long? 